Hello everybody and welcome to today's video about Just-in-Time VM Access and PowerShell. My name is Tom and I'm going to lead you through all the capabilities that you have when it comes to enabling and requesting Just-in-Time VM Access and using PowerShell within that scope. Now first of all, let's take a look at Azure Security Center and what Just-in-Time VM Access actually is and why you should use it. As you can see, Azure Security Center has a secure score that is built upon security controls. The security controls are ranked in the number of a maximum secure score that you can achieve. And on number two, you have secure management ports with a maximum score of eight points. Within that particular security control, there is a recommendation that you should enable just-in-time VM access to protect the management ports on your virtual machines. Now, if you imagine that you create a virtual machine on Azure and you put it into a network, giving it an external IP address, then attacks will immediately start against both SSH and RDP ports on these machines. With just-in-time VM access, you can make sure that these ports are blocked when you do not need access to the machine and that they are only opened for either a pre-configured set of IP addresses or only for the IP address that the requester is communicating from. All of that can be configured using PowerShell. And if we take a first look at what level of access rights you will need, then let's switch over to GitHub and to learn what we have in terms of just-in-time VM access and least privileged access. In the GitHub repository that comes with Azure Security Center, there is a script which is called satjit least privileged role.ps1. With this script, you can create a custom role which is called JIT access role. And that role will contain a subset of actions that the user is allowed to have. These actions include JIT network access policies read, JIT network access policies initiate action, security policies read, and pricings read. Now let's switch over to how to configure JIT VM access. All the scripts we are using here are taken from the official documentation of Azure Security Center's just in time VM access capability. So the first thing you will do is you connect your PowerShell environment to your Azure AD tenant in order to get access to your subscriptions. After that, you will create a JIT policy variable that will contain the configuration for a particular virtual machine, including the management ports that you want to protect using JIT. In this case, we have two ports, 22 for SSH and 3389 for RDP access, both of which will have a maximum request access duration of three hours. After these three hours, once you have requested just JIT access, these ports will be closed automatically. The second step is to use the information that you put into your variable and write it into the JIT policy array. And then using the set AZ JIT network access policy commandlet, you can request the creation of a new JIT policy for this particular machine. In the JIT VM access tab of Security Center, you see that I only have two configured virtual machines, which is DC01 and DC02. But I also have another machine, which is called Contoso Linux VM, and that has not been enabled just in time VM access yet. So if we take a look at the networking part of that machine, we see that SSH access is allowed from anywhere to the machine. Next thing we will do is we will now enable just-in-time VM access for that particular machine using PowerShell and make sure that the SSH port is blocked. I have already prepared the initial steps. So all we need to do is run the set azjit network access policy commandlet and doing so enable JIT VM access and create the network rules for this particular virtual machine. If we now switch over to the Azure portal again, we can see that a new security center JIT rule has been created for ports 22 and 3389 with the deny action, which means that access to both SSH and RDP to this virtual machine will now be blocked from outside of Azure. 
Now the next thing we want to do is request just-in-time VM access. And to do so, we also want to use PowerShell. Again, we are starting with one variable that we use to request the access. And it will contain the ports that we want to open. In this case, it is 22. It will contain an end time in UTC format. So that means that at that time, the port will be blocked again. If I don't enter that time, then the three hours that we have configured in the JIT policy will be effective. And we configure the allowed source address prefix, which in this case is the IP address that I'm currently having. After that, again, we use the variable and put it into the array. And then we can use the start azjit network access policy commandlet to finally request access. Now, let's do that for this environment. Again, I have already prepared the first steps. So all we need to do is start azjit network access policy. And after the command has finished, we can switch over to Azure Portal again to see that a new security center JIT rule has been created to allow access to port 22 for a particular IP address. Now I hope you enjoyed this video about just-in-time VM access and PowerShell. Make sure to visit the Azure Security Center GitHub repository to find more automation artifacts that might help you succeed in your journey of protecting your environment. That's all for now. Stay safe and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.